Hi and welcome to today's video where we will look at how to model a geological fault in AutoCAD Civil 3D. In this case we have actually created our surfaces and boreholes by using the whole base SI extension for AutoCAD Civil 3D by Kinetics but you can also use the Autodesk Geotechnical module to create the same information. So a fault is basically just a crack in the earth crust with a displacement to one side and they can be of various complexity so we could just have a simple one uh, which is a vertical fault or we could have a more complex fault where there's been an angle and slip uh, as you can see here with the more complex one you would actually model this by using two AutoCAD brake lines one for the top and one for the base of the fault and just repeat that for each surface today we're going to use a wall brake line to model a simple fault so this is our model data and you can see there's a quite a steep slope between this set of boreholes where our fault runs. So I'm going to flip it over into uh, top space and change it over into 2D wireframe and just use the normal AutoCAD polyline command and just make sure we snap it to our geology. With that done I'm going to convert it into a feature line But when we do convert it to a feature line, we want to ensure that each feature line is on a different site. Now the problem with feature lines is that they can interact with each other, they can snap to each other. You don't want that happening on geology faults, uh, you know, it will corrupt your data. So just put each fault or each feature line onto a separate site and that will solve that problem. So in this case we're going to uh, tell it to erase our data and we're also going to, the most important thing here, assign an elevation. So we want our feature line to be draped over our geology where we want the fault to start occurring. So in this case it's a, a gravel base where the fault will start. So with that just selected we can now convert that into a break line we're going to use it on the bright line again on our gravel base surface but this is the thing, the important thing, type is wall so the wall will give us a vertical break line simulating a ge geotechnical fault we need to show the down throw side so I'm just clicking over here and now we could do a different uh, strike for each one, sorry, a uh, slip in each one we're actually entering a slip of minus three meters so if we now go back and look at that in isometric view and perhaps put it into a uh, shaded view so we can see it a little bit better you can see how by using the wall break line we have actually modeled our geology now in reality you would need to repeat that for each surface that has the fault in it or as i said uh, if you do more complex ones you need to create multiple break lines for each surface I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions or ideas for new videos, please let me know by using the comment box below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for access to more training videos as we add them. For more information on how Kinetics can help you, please visit our website, email us or call. Thank you for watching.